Life is an interesting journey. We spend a majority of it spinning our wheels, waiting for the next thing to push us into action. We plan the best that we can so that we can live a fulfilled life on the backs of those that came before us. Remembering them and learning from them, we pass those things on to the next in line. Heritage through blood or knowledge keeps our existence known until our name is no longer spoken, but the legacy survives. Before photos, videos, electronic identities, we were followed by our coat of arms, a family sigil, a birthright tattoo, some token of our familial past. They tell the story of where we came from and better yet, who we came from. They identified our status and allowed the ghosts of the past a way to carry on into the future. Some have forgotten their heritage, not even aware of why they carry the name that they do. Others had their names stripped from them and were given something new. Clans merged and lines that once were clearly drawn blended with new ones. The evolution of society, technology, governments, treaties diluted the value of those icons that tied us to our past. In some families, however, the clan still thrives. The symbols that their once elder kings and queens clung to are still celebrated. Traditional garbs and songs are still known and still held in high esteem. They gather and celebrate with others who also carry their flags of history. This is the truth of Clan Harrington. Tartans adorn their shoulders and kilts are still worn in celebration annually for the Scottish Heritage Festivals. The family crest and history is chiseled deep within their conscience, and it is with this that a request was made of us to provide a simple keepsake box, showcasing the crest of their clan. This is that build story. I'm doing another bandsaw box. This is the design I'm doing. It's a shield for someone's family crest. I didn't film it at first because it was kind of experimental, but I'm just gluing a bunch of wood strips together to make the design. It seems to be going okay so far. I got it. I got them all cut in blocks and strips, so all the grains running in this direction. So I'm just going to take it from here and film the rest of the build. I got this next part going on. I got all the grain running this way. So I gotta glue this about here, this about here. And the only problem I'm running into is I messed up on this piece. So I had to put a spacer right here. On one of these to make it match up, I'm gonna have to cut a piece of end grain that will take up a space right about here. Or actually right there so that everything matches up so I'll show you how I've been cutting that on the bandsaw here so I've been cutting the end grain just by cutting a piece of end grain off a piece of wood like this and of course I don't do it like this if I use if I tried to be safe and use a push stick and push it through like this the uh, piece of wood I'm trying to cut off would just fall into this gap right here. So what I've been doing is I just made it a temporary zero clearance insert like this. And then I've been pushing it through like this and it seems to work fine. So I'll show you how I do that. Alright, so now these all match up pretty well. I just gotta glue them all on, wait for the glue to dry, and then glue on some more. 
it's a slow process. Now I'm just going to do some sanding to level everything out but before I put on the next layer. Now I'll glue this one on and wait for it to dry. Alright, there's this piece on and I made this um, piece off a of camera just to speed things along while the other stuff was gluing up. So all I have to do now is cut a thin strip to put it between the two so you get the shadow line right here. So it looks like this piece is running underneath this piece. It's all glued up now. Once it's dry, I'm going to flatten everything and then I'm going to start building up the bandsaw box. It's going to end up like this with that little shield I drew on it. I'm just going to rough cut the some of the excess off on my bandsaw. Then I'm going to glue a bunch of pieces to make my bandsaw box blank to it. Okay, I got this block glued together. It's going to be the main body of the bandsaw box. I'm going to glue this on in this orientation so that the grain all runs in the same direction. So we don't have any I don't know, movement issues or anything like that. I'm liking the way it's looking, so I'm going to just cut this up in typical bandsaw fashion. I want to add some sort of texture to this, maybe shape the, make this back part a little bit more interesting. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet, but we'll figure it out here. Alright, let's cut this up. Okay, I got your basic bandsaw box. I'm now going to give it some legs and I am going to shape the back so it's a more interesting shape. <laughs> 